Hi guys, okay, this video did start out as a normal three things, then I added a bit at the front, and then the ending was the first for me. That's why I thought I'd explain what's going on. So it's a bit long, well worth the watch, and well worth to find out what it is. Guys, enjoy. Whilst doing the video that you're just about to watch, um, afterwards I sat and thought, wait a minute, this is what I like, enjoy sometimes about doing this as a hobby. Um, I had this bike for a little while, I've had it running, then it doesn't, I've had it running, then it doesn't. So I've gone through all the system that I thought it could be, all the points I've just pointed out in this video just after this. And I thought, well, listen to my own words, I remembered what the person said, this bike ran for a couple of weeks and was giving it back. So, what am I doing? Well, I'm going to firstly 13 mil that off, then Allen key them off, take the spark plug out which is out now in a bucket, and I'm going to 10 mil and take them off. Drain the water out. Now, because it's water cooled, much faster. But remember to get this off here and try and get as much water out as possible. You do not want the water going in the head. Why am I doing this? <laughs> I actually think it might be the piston. So, let's wait and see. All right, guys, water out. <clears throat> it's all stuff, obviously, bucket. And here we go to the head. Look at that. That is an awful, awful lot of oil. It's not running right there. Is the oil pump buggers? I don't know. Anyway, let's get it off. Now the head, we need a little tap. It's been in a couple of weeks, but the gaskets all should be good. But, watch the rest of my video, it's about four minutes long, of the three processes that it could be. And then at the end, I'll show you what the piston was like and whether it's running or not. <laughs> no fast forwarding, guys. Um, enjoy the video. All right. Right, <clears throat> morning guys, there's three main items that will go wrong with your speed fight, okay, and to simplify things I guess, engine, electrical, carburetor, petrol system, okay, three, not in any order, okay, um, it doesn't mean that if the bike stops it's going to be ABC, and that's the whole point of my 50 odd videos that I've done, to try and help you. But generally electrics, okay? So the first one, obviously no spark, CDI unit. And this again is a mobilized one that I showed you the other day. There's four different sorts, check out the videos. Engine wise, I mean, it can be from what's really scary, oil seals, they are scary. Um, it's a complete engine rebuild to get these in. Crank, but generally the easiest one, is piston, okay? So for electrics, generally it's your CDI unit. Check your coil, static coil, but with your engine, generally it's piston, okay? They get old, four, eight, 12,000 miles, who knows what's in one of these. Um, depending how much oil you've had in it, what oil you use, whether it goes fast and so on, but there. And the last one, which is the most common, which causes the engine to stall, not start, blah, blah, bloody carburetor. And again, I've, I've just done recently one on a carburetor. Now, the bike I've got outside now, which I thought was a bypass unit, um, realistically all comes down to a carburetor. Um, and the thing is with these, they're like an item you can't actually see what's wrong with it. You know, you look at it, there's no splits, no cracks, no breaks, but it can just cause you so many bloody problems. Now, this, what I'm taking out now, is called the main jet, which is in the middle. Okay, standard as I said before in our videos, it's around about 54. You can go up to 60, 70, 76, depending on what you're running. And the little one here, which starts the stalls, which I said before, some come out, some don't come out, is um, the idle jet. Okay, this one doesn't come out for some reason, which may cause a problem. But then, if you can't get it out, then get your old spray with the straw on it, spray in there, and spray around because you're just done. Now the bike I'm playing with now is definitely the carb. I know it is. It's really annoying. So I'm going to service this one today, and I'm going to put this one on there and uh, get the bloody thing running. It's long overdue. As you can see, I've been messing with my uh, my Jexas lately. I have three now. <laughs> one complete. This one got to do an oil change on, but that's not Peugeot speed fights. When it comes to other makes and models, as long as they're two T, they're all going to be generally the same. Um, even with you know four Ts. 
you know, there are the same sort of generic things, but the engine again, because it's got the top bits, is different. So that's what I just wanted a short video today. I know it's the carburetor, um, so I'm going to completely re service this one, take it completely apart. I'm literally going to drop it in some petrol as well, soak it for a little while, um, and then take it out, spray it all up, and clean it, make it up brand new. Um, make sure there's a seal there. If you haven't got one, pop to your local Halfords or whatever. There's got to be a little rubber seal there, okay? And this one hasn't got it. I can take it off the other one. Original ones come with a gasket. Now, I've cut some gaskets before out of cardboard. Don't seem to work. Um, they leak petrol, suck in air, basically. But bogging down, stalling, all of it is this bloody thing here. Um, I know it. <laughs> I've already checked the piston. I've had the head off. I've already checked the CDI unit. The spark there. Um, coil, you know, I will change the spark plug. I think I've got a brand new one somewhere. Let me have a look. There you go, brand spanking new one. So I'm going to change the spark plug while I'm at it. If I'm honest with you, I've often changed three or four things on a bike, and then when I've got to it, it runs. And you think, well, which one was it? <laughs> you know, when your carburetor comes down, it can, but the reeds even, these have got to be all shut. I've done, I've done a video how to get them out as well. Do check out my other videos, guys. So there's 50 there. Some of my rattle on like today and I go off subject, you know. So it's a bit difficult because there's so many things, you know, like the needle, for instance, and so on. Um, but if you have a good sit down with some popcorn, maybe a drink and watch them, somewhere along the line, the answer you're after is going to be in one of these videos, you know, like I've touched today on what I know it is, which is the carburetor. Um, sometimes they leak and it's the float system. As I said in another video, you know, this is what it does. It goes up and down. And I get a little pipe and I blow on it and I top it down and it should stop. And that's how to check whether your float's working. There's um, something that goes into this called a vacuum. Now that vacuum um, has a petrol and obviously an air. And as the bike starts, it sucks allowing the petrol to come through. Sometimes what you get is um, where it doesn't stop. And of course it will flood your bike, which is again the same feeling as you starved the bike, you flooded the bike. Sometimes you suck on it, it doesn't bring any petrol out and that's what it is. So anyway guys, Please like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. And if they can help, job done. Right. Ta-da, guys. That's not working, is it? Well, guys, did you enjoy the video? Now you might have three ideas of what it can be. And I promised you an answer. No, the bike's not running. And I found something for the first time ever. Are you ready? Here's the piston. Okay, not that bad. A few little marks on it, expectant really. Are you ready? That's an air-cooled piston. There's a water-cooled piston. Like, OMG, can you see the difference? This is why it wasn't running properly. Air-cooled piston, air-cooled head. Water-cooled, I do like my examples, don't I? But that's the best way to learn, isn't it? That is higher, it's a deeper bore. And this, I think, cast the other alley. A lot of difference there. But look, that is slightly higher. And the pistons, well, it says it all, doesn't it? No wonder the bloody thing. This is an old piston, by the way, it's scored. Someone said to me recently, the piston looked good and they got all the scoring. That's a crap piston, that's bugger, that is. But anyway, look at the difference. No wonder the bloody thing wasn't working properly. You know, totally different. The heads are different. The pistons are different. So I remembered when the person said to me, it ran, it didn't run, it ran, it didn't run. I mean, I can't always believe what people say, but there you clearly have it. The piston was an air cooled and not a water cooled. So I thought, as I've done previous videos, I thought it was the CDI unit, convinced it was a carburetor, spark plug, coil, stator coil, I've done all that to it. You know, I wouldn't have found this, except, and this is what I do as a hobby, this is what I enjoy, you know? Uh, I don't enjoy it not running, but I enjoy the fact that I can't do it. I just wrap it up and leave it. Get on with my Jexes recently. Um, and there you go. Guys, do check out my videos. I hope this has been well worth a watch. I hope you enjoyed it. As I said, I promised you an answer, and that was it. I mean, I've just got to show you that again. Look at that. Do you know... What is that? Nearly uh, 10 mil, I suppose, isn't it? Massive, massive difference between an air-cooled piston and a water-cooled piston. Do like, please, subscribe, please, and share, please. I've uh, got 819 subscribers now and uh, 255,000 views. 
Can we get that up higher? I'll keep making these videos. Um, I hope that they are helpful for you. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, and sorry about the noise I seem to make. I, I notice it when I'm doing the video. Um, it's because you haven't seen how many takes I've had to do. <laughs> One day I'll add all the takes I do, you know, where I get it wrong, you know, and I, um, and I have to redo it again. Like this one, for instance, I actually uh, did this little video a minute ago and I realised actually showing a Jalera piston and not a speed fight piston. So, so anyway, please enjoy um, and do what you need to do. Guys, you take care of yourselves out on the road. Winter time there. Take care, guys.